Okay, now this is the third lesson, <clears throat> or revision lesson, and for this one we're going to look at the crop tool. To use the crop tool, obviously we have to be in the develop mode, so click here to be in the develop mode, and the picture we're going to look at is the first one of the selection that we had, and um, the crop tool is on this panel here. So up here we have um, what we might call selections, things that we can select from a photograph and make changes to. And one of them is the crop tool. So if we click on the crop tool, then we get this um, uh, set of lines over our picture with like little anchors on each corner. And we also get a new menu underneath. So if I just press done, and you look at this menu here, when I press crop, we get a new menu. And the important thing we want from this menu really is this word here, original. So it should say original and there should be a lock, padlock beside the word original. And what that means is that if I take a corner of this picture and I pull it in like this to crop it, the dimensions, the ratio of the dimensions will remain the same. So if this is a, a 3 by 2, the ratio will remain 3 by 2. So if I want to crop this picture, I can now go, when I go into the cropped area, you'll notice my cursor changes from a cursor to a hand. And if I click in the middle of this, I can now move the picture around within that crop that I've made and I can pull it back out again and I can change it any way I like by grabbing any of those corners. Now I'm trying to pull this one out but it won't come out because it's actually reached the top. If I come down here now and pull it out you see it'll go it, yeah it, it'll only crop back to its original shape obviously. Now if I want to um, reset it. I just go up to the top corner here, press Control and click and I can reset crop. So if I want to do a different shape of a crop then underneath original here I can either just unlock it and now I can make it any shape I want. Okay so I could just crop it like this for example. Okay because I can make it any shape by unlocking that um, little lock that we saw there. Now I want to set this back again so I'm going to go Alt, click and up to Reset Crop. The alternative though, and probably more useful, is the little arrows beside the original here. If you click on it you can now choose different sizes. So for example I want to do a square crop. A one by one is square. That's the ratio not the measurement. So this is the square and now if I go into the middle and click on it I can move my picture around inside in that square. I could make the square smaller. So now I could move it around again within the square. Okay and once I press done I now have a square picture. So if again if I click on the open it up again and go up to this go control and click reset crop then it's going to go back to the original and it's back on original here so you can choose any shape you want from down here so for example a 10 by 8 is a common size that people might want to print of but as you can see if I go 10 by 8 I'm going to lose some of this picture because the picture is not originally a 10 by 8 it's a 12 by 8 so I have to decide then which bit of it I want to keep so probably we would do it like that and say done and that would now print as a 10 by 8. So I'll come back, whoops, go back to the crop again, back up here, control, click, reset and I'm just going to lock that again so it's staying as, as it is. The other useful thing that is here in the um, crop tool is, is the straighten tool of, uh, essentially and there's two ways of doing this. The first and easiest one is to click on the word auto and see what happens. So I've clicked on auto and you can see the crop is taking a bit off the top, a bit off the side, and a bit off, I'll just do it. Oh, don't know what I did there, sorry. That's it. And now it's cropped and it's actually straightened it using this line here. So you can see the house now looks like it's, this, this brick here looks like it's falling over slightly. Um, 
But again, if I click on here, I can undo that and reset crop. Or I can go in with this angle and I could say draw this line along here, this line of bricks, and let go. And that line of bricks is now straight. Well, is it? Yeah, that line of bricks is straight. Again, it looks crooked and the top of the thing is, is straight. So that's how you use the crop tool. Um, and I am just going to reset that. Reset it back to zero again. So that's the crop tool.